how do you feel CoinMares has performed during the first seven months after the IPO? Since IPO last May, the management has focused on the plan that we announced during the roadshow of the IPO. And uh, we complete this first period ahead of plans. Uh, initially, we were planning to invest uh, in 18 months. And instead, uh, uh, by accelerating uh, the deployment of capital, thanks to the opportunity that we identify off-market uh, uh, during this period, uh, we've been able to invest 100% of the proceeds uh, uh, raised during the IPO in only eight months. This has been a very important uh, achievement uh, by the team because it allowed us uh, to anticipate the dividend, which originally was expected to be paid uh, in 2018. And instead, uh, uh, we have been able to announce uh, the payment of the first dividend already in 2017 for uh, the fiscal year of 2016. The portfolio has been uh, built uh, with uh, over 400 million euros acquisition. Uh, we've been very rigorous uh, in um, uh, focusing uh, the initial acquisitions uh, on an uh, income-producing uh, uh, portfolio, very much uh, into the office sector, and particularly uh, located in Milan, uh, over 60%, so in the most liquid market uh, of Italy. Nevertheless, uh, the market has not yet uh, appreciated um, uh, the work accomplished. Partly it's natural because uh, uh, we have announced it uh, very recently and we look forward to close the gap uh, uh, that we currently have. And what is your strategy to close the gap? To close the gap, um, uh, the first point is uh, to deliver the results. Uh, and uh, this is, was the first milestone that we put ourselves uh, in front and we did it. Uh, now it will be uh, fundamental to present to the market uh, through the roadshows and through the research coverage that we are having uh, from different banks and so disseminating uh, the results that we have achieved. We will continue in the coming uh, months uh, to be to actively manage the portfolio, also by having rotation in the asset, which could uh, recyc uh, could recycle uh, part of the capital and most importantly cr crystallize uh, the NEV, so the value of the assets, which will be certainly welcomed positively by uh, the market. Um, and finally, we have um, uh, the remaining firepower, which we will continue to invest consistently with what we achieved uh, to date. So we are confident that uh, by being very rigorous and be based on fundamentals of um, uh, the equity story that we started from the beginning, and thanks to the track record uh, uh, of the team, we will succeed uh, in getting the market appreciating uh, the company. Your family has been in real estate for over 40 years. You are the CEO of a successful private real estate company. What motivated you to enter the listed sector? The listed sector is a mature market in the United States and evolved positively, growing considerably in the core Europe, so in France, Germany and United Kingdom, and more recently in Spain with the number of new REIT that has been um, uh, developing uh, in the last few years. Italy, in, uh, from an economy perspective, uh, is one of the largest countries in uh, Europe and in the world, but the, uh, the listed sector is uh, very thin and the market cap uh, is uh, roughly a billion. So there is a clear uh, structural gap uh, which we have uh, identified uh, as a gap uh, that certainly can be filled in uh, considering uh, the new legislation of REIT that has been approved by the government uh, at the end of 2014. And therefore, with the entrepreneurial spirit that drove uh, our private business, we decided uh, now with the team to take over this challenge uh, with the aim to set a best-in-class uh, REIT uh, for Italy too. CoinMares is an externally managed company. How are you structuring governance so the shareholders know that you are working in their best interest? We adopted an externally managed uh, structure in the interest of shareholders. Let me be clear. Uh, 
The Coimares is a startup and uh, in the initial phase of the company, obviously it has to limit the cost uh, for the overhead. By having the external manager uh, structure, the shareholders of Coimares can profit uh, about uh, our private platform, which include 150 professionals with an extensive track record built over 40 years uh, and working with uh, world-class investors, uh, both in core and value-added as well development uh, uh, acquisition management. So we provide uh, Coimares the full uh, depth of our team uh, without uh, uh, putting the cost of the platform within the REIT at the initial phase. Uh, as I'm saying, we're talking about the initial phase. Um, even if we have an external model, we have started internalized uh, since uh, the very beginning of the company. Uh, Fulvio Di Giglio, the CFO, is uh, fully employed uh, by the REIT and with him uh, other colleagues. Uh, and in the, in, in the future, we look forward uh, to progressively internalize uh, the REIT uh, as uh, was planned uh, since the IPO. Uh, in any case, uh, now we structure a governance uh, uh, with the majority of the board uh, member being independent uh, and providing uh, you know, the shareholders uh, a full uh, protection and a full uh, independent uh, uh, decision-making process uh, which uh, um, uh, mitigate uh, uh, the fact that uh, as of today the, the REIT is partially externally managed. Could you please comment on COIMA's leverage policy? Yes, as of today, we have a prudent level of leverage, is 35%, and we aim to remain in a region of 40% because we think it's prudent. And what is the cost of financing? We have been able to secure financing at very attractive conditions. Our all-in cost is below 200 BIPs. How is your team managing the portfolio of CoinRS? The asset and property management team uh, have been managing assets for over 10 years under my leadership. We have a very hands-on approach. We constantly review lease structure and we stay very close to our tenants. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we try also to uh, think out of the box and also try to find alternative ways to create value on, on the building, studying a CapEx plan and also uh, real estate improvements uh, in, in if returns make sense for our investors. And how are you moving forward on the Deutsche Bank portfolio? Actually, we are pleased about uh, the Deutsche Bank portfolio performances. Since the beginning, our strategy has been to split the portfolio into the two different sub-portfolio, a core portfolio and a non-core portfolio. On the non-core portfolio, we have started a disposal plan and the outcome of uh, the first uh, uh, activities has been positive. The first sale uh, has been on a, a critical asset, which is a vacant asset uh, in the province of Lecco that has been sold at the premium of 3.4% over the net asset value. Regarding the, no, the core portfolio, the strategy has been to focus on the uh, nego renegotiation of lease agreements with Deutsche Bank. Uh, we have been successful in uh, eliminating the break option on, C on three of the assets that have the break option on the lease contract. And we also have been able to increase the lease uh, for about 10% on six uh, branches of the portfolio. Your last investment of 2016 was a value-added play. Can you please explain the rationale of this diversification? After composing a portfolio of core good quality assets, we decided to enhance the portfolio returns, adding a selective value-added project. And the main drivers uh, of the investment uh, were three. The first one, uh, market timing. While core properties uh, have already repriced uh, quickly in the last months, uh, there is still an interesting window for value-added investment. The yield premiums uh, of Bonnet compared to comparable buildings uh, in the same location will be over 200 basis points, so pretty, pretty large with a target IRR in the next three years in excess of 12%, so double-digit returns. The second driver is a strong location. 
Bonnet is located in uh, Porta Nuova area, which is this new CBD of Milan, which uh, a trend of uh, increasing uh, rental value and increasing tenant demand. And it's an area where the company already owns uh, the Gioia Otto building and where the platform has a very strong expertise in developing and leasing uh, headquarters for major company. The third driver is uh, the partnership with uh, uh, an investor, uh, primary investor, uh, with uh, a solid track record, which is uh, a primary sovereign wealth, uh, wealth fund, where the company is participating uh, with 35% uh, equity uh, stake. How does the market look going into 2017? The market is very competitive, like it was in 2016. The yields are coming down. To give you an example, in 2014, prime yields were at 5, 5.5. Five Today are 3.75%. But no matter that the market was competitive, we have been successful in deploying the capital at premium returns compared to the market with all off-market acquisition. And this because of our platform and because of the relationship that we have on the market. This makes me very confident that we will be successful in deploying the, the, the remaining firepower of 100 million in the next 12 months. What about sustainability? We have a background of developers, so we know what it means to build the buildings and what imply at urban level as well as community level. So sustainability for us has always been a fundamental part of our um, pre-development, design, development and management for all our buildings. In the last 10 years we have built the largest portfolio in the office sector certified lead. Uh, we have uh, market shares in Italy over 20%. So that is our background. As a natural consequence of this, when we approach the investment of Coimares, uh, uh, sustainability is not even uh, a criteria, it is a precondition to all our investment and management. And in fact, uh, now the, uh, over 60% of the asset that we have in uh, the portfolio are actually LEED certified. The Italian macro picture is overshadowed by political uncertainty and a muted economic outlook. How does the Coima Rest strategy address these concerns? The macro outlook uh, is uncertain all over the world uh, and uh, Italy, I would say, represents the normality nowadays. In any case, uh, macro, uh, it's very difficult to control by any one of us. Uh, so it is not really much uh, the focus that we have. The focus that we have uh, is more on fundamentals of the company, which m means uh, uh, making the right acquisition, managing correctly the assets, uh, and being focused on fundamentals, uh, not necessarily on cycle. And we are a strongly believer that uh, creating a long-term value will be recognized by the market independently uh, from uh, the cycles of the market or from the macro environment. What are your growth plans and how will you fund your growth strategy? In order to grow, we first um, have to focus on the portfolio that we built, where we think uh, we can have uh, the value of the assets emerging by actively managing the portfolio through uh, rotation that can crystallize NEV and through recapture of uh, rental growth uh, by renegotiating lease, as we did uh, in the case of uh, the NH Hotel, where we succeed in having uh, uh, the double rent uh, comparing to the previous um, uh, lease agreement. Um, in addition to that, uh, we have a remaining firepower of over 100 million euros, uh, now which we can certainly even expand uh, through joint venture, which will allow to achieve uh, by you know, indicatively the end of the year a portfolio of over 700 million euros. Uh, uh, with um, uh, the returns that we are aiming uh, uh, to complete uh, after this uh, additional acquisition. Overall, uh, this will, uh, uh, should put us in a position where the market will appreciate uh, not what we have done and at that point in time we will be in a position to potentially grow the company further.